This video is going to cover lending and seal. After a borrower has submitted a request for an item, you will receive an email which gives you the option to lend it. If you do not respond to the request right away, you will be sent a reminder email after three business days. Requests expire after five days. This is an example of the email you'd receive. It contains the bibliographic information of the item requested, as well as the contact information of the borrower. If you need to contact them, please email them directly using this address. If you respond directly to this email, it will get sent back to us at Southeastern. At the bottom of the email, you have the option to say yes or no to request. You can respond to it directly within your email or within your SEAL account. If you head to your account, you can see your request under the option, see all requests received by your library. Your requests will display chronologically. You can also search by the ILO number linked to your request, which is located in the subject line of the initial email you received. If you would like to fill from within your account, simply hit fill or not fill. If you select no, you will get a screen that asks you why you can't lend the item. This information can be useful for the borrowing library as they continue to try and find a lender. For example, indicating that an item can't be loaned because it is currently checked out will let them know you have it and they may be able to request it at a later date. Click yes if you are able to lend it. We recommend actually having the item in hand before you commit to lending it in case there are any issues with locating an item. If you select yes, a new screen will appear there will be an option to put in any notes you might need to give the borrower. There is also a drop-down menu to select the delivery method you are planning to use. Your delivery method will depend both on the library you're working at and the library you're delivering to. For example, Mid-Hudson and RCLS have career systems that allow for delivery between the two systems. If you are unsure of the delivery method you should be using, Check with a library manager at your location or contact Southeastern at ill at cinelark.org for more information. You can also key in the due date when sending an item. Borrowers will get a reminder email from SEAL when an item's due date is approaching. I'm going to provide a due date four weeks from now. Your method for checking the item out to the borrower will vary depending on your library's individual procedures. One typical method is to add the borrowing library as a patron in your ILS system and check the item out to them there. Many people also print off the SEAL request and keep a physical copy for the records. Borrowing libraries have the option to request a renewal. If they do, you will receive an email asking if you are willing to extend the due date. You can respond to this request directly from within the email or by going into your account under See All Requests Received by Your Library, the same as we did to fill the request. This is the copy of the email. If you are willing to extend the due date, click Approved. This will bring you to a screen where you can type in the due date and any renewal notes you might need. Once you're finished, click Submit. If you opt for renewal, the borrowing library will receive an updated due date by email. Once you receive an ILL material back from the borrowing library, you will need to update the status and seal. This will complete the transaction and assure the borrowing library that you receive the item without any issues. To do so, first click My Account and then See All Requests Received by Your Library. Under the action bar, check the item back in. A new screen will appear asking if you wish to mark the item as returned. Click yes and submit. Then you can check the item back in in your ILS and return it to the shelf. This will complete your SEAL ILL transaction.